previously on Balls. Finals with Rafael Nadal also in action tonight. All right, let's stop right there. Yep. That Kivitova, yes. Petra Kivitova, who sounds like one of those plovers on a golf course when they're really pissed with you. Yes. That's a Petra Kivitova. <laughs> when they dive bomb you. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh, Darren. <laughs> All right, let's leave it up to the expert to tell us about French Open because Rob Koenig joins yes. us on the uh, on Skype. Where are you, Rob? I'm back at home. Oh. How, are you? How are you doing, Darren? Listen, can you do me a favor? Oh, can you please buy whatever company has done your Skype for us? Buy the company and give it to everybody that we ever want to talk to on the show because your Skype is like watching you on HDTV. I need all the help I can get, but thanks very much. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Clean yeah. camera, beautiful shot, lovely audio, fantastic, man. Good old-fashioned MacBook Pro. There you go. Yeah. Uh, why are you not on the? Why are you not traveling with the uh, the French Open? What's the story? French Open always comes pretty quickly after the two European events that I do um, in Rome and Madrid. Mm. And uh, if I do those as well as the French, it's pretty close together, and it ends up being too much time away from the family. All I've right. never been a big fan of the French either, so uh, <laughs> I'd rather stick to. <laughs> To Wimbledon and the U.S. Open is where I spend most of my time. Never been a big fan of the French, the people, or the French, the tournament? It's a little bit of both. I, mean, I don't know if you've seen the last couple of days, but those corporate boxes around the court, so often it's empty there, and it leaves such a bad taste in the mouth of tennis fans. And you can understand why, because they give their left arm to be part of the action there. Yeah. And all these corporate boxes, the French spend so much time you know, eating food. They only get out there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's... I think it's a push showing, actually. Yeah. It annoys me. And by the way, on that subject, to whoever the person was at Loftus on Saturday, the one box that was empty in the middle of this packed oh, yeah. stand, they couldn't get tickets, and some chop has a box at Loftus and didn't open it. If you're not going to use your box, get the tickets out so someone else can use them. Geez, people were clamoring for tickets for that game, and there's this empty box in the middle of the stadium. That is really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Probably a shock supporter or something. <laughs> They were uh, playing in Joburg, John. Yes, I know, Why would know. a shark supporter have a box at Loftus? No, who knows? Egypt. <laughs> anyway, Rob, so oh, yesterday, what a day. Eh? We thought that maybe we might see the end of Federer and we might see the end of Djokovic, but mm. they both prevailed. They are two great champions. You know, they've got that mentality, haven't they? They just, they just find a way to win somehow. Uh, it's interesting, though, when you actually look at the, the five-set records of both guys, starting with Federer, he doesn't have a great five-set record. I think he's 18 wins and 16 losses. And for a player of his caliber, that's not that impressive. And what it tells you... Mm, there goes that. Put the that when guys are it. able yeah. to play Roger close, them, when they are able to play him close, you know, he's there for the taking. But I think Del Potro faded a little bit at the end. But as far as Djokovic is concerned, what he's been able to do in the last two or three years, you know, initially when he broke onto the scene, he had a poor reputation. He was known as one of these guys who always faded over five sets. He was complaining about injuries, holding his back or his chest was bothering him. So what he's been able to do, the way he's turned it around with his diet and his fitness, is unbelievable. I mean, saving uh, match points in the semifinals of the U.S. Open against Federer. It was ridiculous how he got out of jail there. He should have lost to Seppi in his uh, previous match before he, he almost lost to Songa yesterday. And the quality of the tennis was, it was ridiculous yeah. yesterday. All right, yesterday and today, uh, Johnny, those, uh, you, I don't know if you heard John just doing yeah. some of those uh, results today. They've lost, uh, the, the women have lost their, uh, some of the big seeds in their, in their side, in their competition. What, uh, how, do you, how do you see that one panning out? Who do you see as the, uh, the one to, please don't say Sam Stosa, otherwise I'm going to end this call right now. Oh, gee, okay, well, I'll say the Aussie then. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sam. <laughs> you know, uh, and you'll know about this, how certain teams always seem to play well at certain venues. Yeah. And it's the same for Sam at the French Open. She loves the courts there. They play right into her game style. They're very fast historically, the French Open courts. And she is so aggressive. And her game plan is so well suited to the courts there. And, of course, the feel-good factor for her is so high in Paris. Obviously having a lot of success there in, in the past. And players so often, you see them playing their best tennis every time they go back to certain tournaments. And I think Sam and Maria are probably going to slug it out in the finals. Well, no, I'll be backing. Yeah. But anytime Sharapova plays, she could be playing against um, 
Miss World. I still back Sharapova. Love yeah, it a yeah. bit. Yeah, I think Sharapova actually saved the uh, saved the whole good looking uh, tennis player thing because Kornikova almost put that damage that beyond control, and then she came through also a belter, but actually could play the game and win tournaments. So it was great when she actually won Wimbledon that year. So you know you can be good looking and still win tournaments. As far as the men's go, who do you who do you see as the winner there? You know, I picked Novak uh, at the start of the tournament, Darren, but. Uh you know, given that match against Seppi, the five-setter, given the match against Songa, you know, to beat now Federer and Nadal would be just the most incredible achievement. So yeah. I, I think it's going to be tough for him to do it. You've got to go with Nadal, given what's happened now. But I tell you what, if he's able to complete this, uh, this Novak slam, is what they're going to call it, if he's able to hold all four majors at the same time, it's got to go down as one of the greatest achievements in our sport, without a shadow of a doubt. Last guy to do it, Rod Laver, 1969. So not even Federer or Nadal have been able to do it. They've yeah. won all four, yes, but never held all four at the same time. Particularly what's standing in his way to get that here at Fr in France, as you uh, as you mentioned. A uh, hell of an interesting, and it's, yeah, it's, it's putting up some awesome, awesome games. There's some uh, really close matches. As we say, yesterday was amazing. Lots of stuff happening with the women's. Uh, Rob, we'll probably uh, want to catch up with you again on Friday, if that's okay. Yeah, that's good. That sounds good. Friday yeah. afternoon, uh, similar sort of time. All right, we'll look ahead to, obviously, it will be ladies' final. We'll, we'll know who that is by then, I hope. And uh, the men's semi, no, the men's semi should be on on Friday, I, I would imagine. So we, we might have some indication as to uh, where it's narrowed down to. But uh, we'll chat you around about the same time on Friday, okay? No, I love the show, Darren. You guys are doing a great job. And uh, regards to everybody there. Thanks, Thanks Rob. Nice Robbie. to catch up with you, boss. All the best, man. Cheers, mate. Ciao, ciao. There we go, Rob Koenig. Our man who follows the ATP Tour back in South Africa, watching the French Open. We'll get some of his thoughts on Friday again here at Balls Visual Radio. <laughs> 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za.